Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial how to etch glass. This is just a, a tall um, candle glass from um, the Dollar Tree. Um, you can see where I hold it in a video before this I hold it in. Okay, so what I did was I took Cr Cricut stencil vinyl and cut this out on Cricut Design Space. So it looks just like that. This is a free image in Design Space. So I cut it out and I'm actually going to use Armor Etch. And then I'm going to use, I just buy the bundle pack of these little um, foam brushes from Hobby Lobby because it's like $5.99. Use the 40% off coupons. You're going to need one of those, your Armor Edge. Shake it up really good. And what I did was I actually used um, the, you should actually use the negative. But because it was so intricate, I used the, the positive. So you want to go all the way around um, the outside of this to, um, to get all the outside effects but you really want to use the negative of whatever you're doing if not go ahead and tape off the um, around it so that way you don't have the dripping as you'll see what I did so you want to layer this on pretty thick so you'll see that I'm dabbing it on do not brush this on if you brush it on it's not going to be thick enough and you're not going to get a good enough edge so you want to dab it on in a pretty thick layer and also make sure you guys have gloves on you want gloves and um, I put a craft sheet underneath this, so that way it's um, protecting my workspace. So you definitely want to use gloves. This stuff's pretty dangerous, apparently. Read the instructions. <laughs> you heard me talk about it in my previous video. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to dab this on. I'm just turning the cup. Now you can kind of see how it's starting to run just a little bit, but I don't mind that. Um, but if you don't want it to do that, you could, like I said, tape it off. If you have it taped off, it's going to hit the tape. Or if you're using the negative, you're going to have the extra vinyl, and it's going to hit that and not get your glass. But um, I totally didn't mind for what I was doing. So that was no big deal. But you could always kind of take your cardboard, and that's what I did um, at, while it was drying. Take your cardboard and start bumping the um, etching cream a little bit and bringing it up so that way it'll quit running. That's just a little tip, so I'm just continuing to dab this on. And once you get it all on, you're going to, um, let's see. I'm kind of working ahead myself. I'm voicing over, guys, so just be patient with me. Okay, so once you get all of this um, etching glue on here, you want to make sure it's all the way thick. Don't miss any spots. And if you get any that slings kind of off of into another spot on your glass that you don't want, get a, a rag really quickly and wipe it off. So you want to definitely stop and wipe that. I did that a couple times on here. So I'm just continuing to add this. Just dabbing it on. Yeah, because you'll see a lot of, you know, you'll you'll wonder what happened, but it's because you didn't put on a thick enough layer. So that looks pretty good. So now, like I said, you can see where it's running, but that doesn't bother me. But if you had it taped off, it would be hitting the tape. Or like I said, if you were using the negative, it'd be hitting the vinyl. So also, you don't have to have stencil vinyl. You can use regular vinyl. Okay, so now we're ready. You want it to let it sit for 15 minutes. Once it sets for 15 minutes, you can either scrape this off and put it back in the um, container and use it over and over and over again, or just rinse it off. And I'm just going to rinse it for the video's sake. So I keep my gloves on during this process, and I'm just rinsing it all the way off. And I'm just using cool water. So as you can see, my stencil's underneath there. And I'm just gently rubbing all of this off. And you can start to see the effect where it's etched the glass. And just get all that washed off really good. I like to make sure it's all off before I pull my gloves. Okay, once you get it all um, rinsed off, you're going to take a pair of tweezers or just pull your gloves off at this point and just peel all of your vinyl off. And like I said, you don't have to use stencil vinyl. You can use regular vinyl. So like a color that you have a lot more of or, you know, extra or a scrap piece of, you can use that. So here I am. I'm just pumps. And you can also use your silhouette or whatever you have. I use my Cricut Maker to do this. 
like I said, it was just more of an intricate design. Okay, so once you get it all pulled up, I just put a little bit of dish soap and go over it, and that way I make sure everything is off. So I'm just rinsing it really good, get it all rinsed off. And there you have it. You can see your design there. And you can do all kinds of stuff. You could do wedding vases or whatever. Or even wine glasses. But see where it ran right there? But that was no big deal to me. But if it's a big deal to you, tape off just so you can completely do like a whole outer perimeter with tape. Okay, so the first step I'm going to show you, you can add um, string lights in here. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. And there it is all lit up. So there there's your first idea you can put lights in it you can use Christmas lights your those little tiny lights that you can get now that run off a little battery pack you can put those in there but I found these at the Dollar Tree so I put those in there and then so we're gonna take these lights out and I'm gonna show you um, something else okay so I got this fake light the LED light from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna put that in there see I wasn't too happy with this um, you'll see with the light off. I wasn't too happy with how this looked. Um, and I also tried the tea light and it still didn't. I wasn't too happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this speedball white paint. Since this is, you don't want to use this on something that you're going to wash. I've learned that because it will wash right off. And I used way, way too much, guys. Don't use that much. So what you're going to do is you're just going to rub this all over, covering the whole etched area. Just rub it on real thick. And just get it everything covered once you get it all covered you're just gonna wipe it off really really good and it just buffs right out and you can add a second and third coat to make it look brighter and you can get this in orange you can get this in all kinds of colors now if you wanted to use this um, for something that you were washing you want to find the speedball that doesn't have oil in it okay so there it is now you can see that it's more vibrant with white and this is speedball I'll put the information down below and see how much more vibrant that looks. So then with the candle in it, we're going to turn the light off again. And I was more happy with that. So I thought that looks really cute. So this is going to be part of my Halloween decor. And all I have in it is like, you know, I have my etching cream already on hand and all that. So say $2 the candle and the or the light. So this is with two things of lights now. So I, I hooked up two things of lights. So there it is again, just showing you what it looks like. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.